Classic Truck Rescue. I'm going to keep doing daily updates on the situation out here in Malala and Northwest Oregon. The smoke is a lot worse today. And of course, Rooster Cogburn's going to start his stuff up now that I'm talking. I thank everyone for all your prayers. Please keep praying for my friends and neighbors that live in the area. I've had a lot of offers for help with with things. I'm okay right now and our property's okay. And also I've been listening to everyone about the masks. I know I don't have it on right this second, but I'm not gonna make a video where I got a mask on talking to my viewers. Or just, I'm not, but I am wearing my mask when I'm out and about. I am just floored by the acts of heroism that I'm seeing from just the common everyday person that lives out here, the way this community has come together and the, the people that are helping each other. I love it out here. I love where we live and I love the people out here. And I'm just so proud of all the people. We have people that are up fighting the fires. The fires that are close to us are only 11 miles away. I don't care what anyone says. I'm gonna show you exactly how I figure out how close the fire is. I think it's important to keep tabs on how far it is. Still dialing Sparky in. I'll give you an update on that in this video. I'll also show you how I keep track of the fire. We have almost 65,000 subscribers. Matter of fact, by the end of the day, it will be 65,000. If you want to help, there are people out here who have lost everything. They've lost their homes. Just uh, some of the stories are just rough to hear. Go on the internet. There are people that need help. They need financial help. They need help rebuilding. They need help with their animals. We're okay. Jamie's safe at my mom's. Annabella's safe at my mom's. Jet's safe. The property so far is fine. I still have that spot over there that keeps trying to reflare, but there's not really anything for it to burn. We're keeping an eye on it. As soon as I get sparky where he's consistently running and pumping the first mission is to go over there and soak that down and we'll be soaking all this down and then hopefully after that maybe i can get up there and help with my fire truck somehow but right now if you want to help somebody go on the internet you know if you really want to help somebody look around we're we're good right now there's no crisis on the classic truck ranch. Anyway, I'm going to meet Jamie right now. I'm dropping off my laundry. She's going to take it over to mom's house and wash it because I'm running out of clothes. And uh, then I'm coming right back, jumping back on Sparky. And hopefully tomorrow or maybe even today, cross your fingers, uh, we'll get some video of Sparky actually pumping. And, and I'll put on my CTR fire department t-shirt that a viewer did send jamie and i some ctr fire department shirts good old boys firefighters and just anybody that's up there battling this fire these are huge fires and they are not uh, all that contained and like i said they're not that far away the smoke's worse today so uh, they downgraded our area just this little area of malala but uh, I, I i just think everyone needs to stay on their toes and be vigilant and uh 11 miles is not far and pray for rain because we're supposed to have rain thursday or friday 50 percent chance they're saying and that would help a lot uh anyway i'll keep doing the, the updates i've had people say oh rick i can't believe you're even making videos at this time well it takes my mind off of things you know you can sit here and and uh yeah. You can do yourself a lot of damage overthinking. There's only so much you can do. And, it, and it, you know, when I'm sitting inside at night, uh, it, it helps me to work on the videos. It does. It takes my mind off of things. And uh, God bless you, everyone. And thank you so much for your prayers and your support. And thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends because if people really want to help, there are people in Malala and the surrounding areas, Estacada, Colton. Uh, Eagle Creek, uh, uh, just the whole area. Look on the map. There's Mill City, uh, Sublimity, and I'm sorry if I don't mention all the names. There, there are a lot of areas that have been a lot more severely impacted than my area uh, right now. So if you want to help somebody, look around. You can find somebody that really needs it. And uh, I just appreciate all my viewers. 
mostly I appreciate your prayers. Uh, they're working because so far so good. Thank you, Lord. And uh, I'm going to get my laundry into town, take care of a couple other things, get some supplies, and I'll be back. Peace out. Okay, so I had Sparky running, but he was coughing and sputtering, and I wasn't impressed. And then I realized Sparky ain't getting enough Sparky. But I was looking at that coil, and it looks pretty vintage. So I'll take a look at that, and I'll go scrape his points up a little bit. I may have a new set of points for it somewhere, and uh, see if we can get him running a little better. Got to be consistent with a fire truck. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I was working on Sparky because he wasn't sparking and I was tearing into his sparking stuff and then uh, but I had to go down to the road because this morning seven county <laughs> in Clackamas County uh, public works or county works truck showed up and God bless them for coming out here but I went out there on pumpkin and I said seven trucks and I wasn't trying to be sarcastic but he's like well we got to deal with this road hazard which my neighbor Matt and I thought we'd been pr doing a pretty good job of dealing with and I was and I wasn't trying to be sarcastic I uh, I just told him you know I will move that log and all the debris out of the road before the end of the day I'm sure you guys have more important things to do and I hope he didn't take it sarcastically because I did not mean it sarcastically those guys got to be busier than heck and he, he finally he was like well uh, <laughs> county rules are we have to ride one person per truck and we heard there was a big problem out here and half hour later they were gone but <laughs> that leaves me to own up to my promise and uh, I'm sure those guys had a lot to do a lot on their plate and God bless all the Clackamas County Fire Department Malala Fire Department all the fire departments and all the fire departments that are here from like far away <laughs> there's firefighters here from Arizona and and uh, everywhere and God bless all of you for coming to help us out and but I did promise them I would get uh, those logs off the side of the road so that they could go on about more important business and I was doing that and then old Funkin had a quick release bucket problem problem being he quick released his bucket without permission and uh, I had a heck of a time getting it back on there but it's back on there hopefully my neighbor Matt's still down there he's been helping me with this tree problem and uh, we're going to fulfill our promise to the county. And then I'm going to come back here and get back to work on getting Sparky sparking. And I got to take Jamie to lunch today. I, I met up with Jamie. And thank you, sweetie. Uh, Jamie, or actually Annabella, FaceTimed me today. And I told her to sit and she laid down. She was, I love that dog. And I love that woman. I got a good wife. Anyway, going to roll on down. I can't find my other cameras. I don't know where they're at. We'll use this one. I got the tripod in the bucket. We'll just set it up. But we're going to get it done before dark. And uh, I'm encouraged that I can see the sun. Rooster Cogburn, hush your neck. I can see it. Uh, it was, the smoke was worse today, but it has cleared up in the last couple hours. And yes, I am wearing a mask.
this is my buddy Matt and Randy. They've been bucking up all the uh, limbs off of that tree over there. And uh, they're gonna utilize that for firewood, but there's some big pieces there that I would like to utilize for something else. I think we did a pretty good job of cleaning up the road. Where you going, Matt? Be camera shy? <laughs> this guy's kind of grown on me a little bit. Hey, you ready to move this stuff? That's Daisy. It's Matt and Daisy. <laughs> Matt's been getting all beat up from these trees and chainsawing. And he's doing a community. I'm, I mean, he has an ulterior motive because firewood's good. But this guy has been working his butt off for like, what, almost a week now? <laughs> Cutting all this stuff up. Oh, I got my bucket fixed, brother. You ready to start hooking some stuff up? We're gonna get that big piece out too. I got a plan. I got a plan.
because everywhere you look it's just it's gonna be more work but you know what can't complain because uh, it's just trees and bushes and you know people have lost a lot more I'm just glad my building still up by the way uh, just gotta be honest Lou's back in the hospital uh, but I'm gonna show you guys some video of uh, Lou coming out here and helping me and, and my brother Jim would get the building up and it's just, I'm glad that's still up but
most ideal weather to be working in today, but I'm going to go ahead and head out to the front of the pasture where the property had caught on fire. Uh, it burned up all of the fencing, the natural fencing, which was blackberry bushes that we were using to hold Jed into one end of his pasture. I'm just going to go put some T-posts in and some electrical tape up until uh, those bushes grow back. I'm sure Jet's anxious to get home. He's hanging out with strangers right now in a, in a furrin land and probably wants to come home. Jamie and Annabella are back home. Jamie's at work in the city right now, driving the street sweeper, uh, doing her part to get things cleaned up. And I'm doing my part to get this cleaned back up out here. We had a lot of limbs come down, a lot of trees, and uh, just got to keep going. When will it stop, folks? I just had the Oregon Department of Forestry out here. Two people helping me cut up this stuff and drag it out of the way because some people came in and limbed all this stuff. And that hot spot keeps flaring up over here. And we can't eliminate it till we get all this brush. The people that came in and limbed these trees after we had everything out dropped all these leaves and branches right on top of the hot spot. So we're trying to clean that up. Got two people from ODF out here in one truck and they're helping me. I'm shoving all this stuff aside as they're bucking it up. And then all of a sudden they get called away because there's a fire down on the next street. And I just hope this doesn't start again because it's not cool. I'm getting tired of this smoking charred up stuff but you see what I'm talking about we had this all cleared out and these guys came by and limbed all these and just dropped this stuff yeah and that rain we got I thought it was pretty significant but the ground's already dry out here again and uh, as you can see if you look real close you'll see where that ground over there is still smoking and smoldering and that's where these guys dropped all these limbs and trees and everything and they're all this whole pile here is all intertwined and everything where I can't get it out I guess I'll go get a new chain for my chainsaw and keep going I'll be back huh. So I got a bunch moved while they were gone, but they're back. Now we're going to attack that area that we need to get on.
so we got this all cleared out again only took what three four hours <laughs> this is all the stuff that was piled up out here and uh otf's over there well i guess they should have made him a bigger road huh jamie <laughs> And we have this hot spot that keeps coming back and haunting us. So I dug all the dirt off the top of it. And they're going to soak it. It's smoking pretty good right now. These girls know what they're doing too. Anyway, I dug it down to the coals. This is going to be some cheesy video, too, because my video camera's dead. So, welcome to phone land. But I guess there's a stump there or something that just keeps smoldering away. And it's not good to have stuff like that and that and that on top of that. How many gallons do you girls have on there? Uh, 300. 300 gallons? Right on. Whitney and Jamie, we appreciate you coming out and helping us. They were out here bucking up logs and now they're putting the fire out. We sure appreciate you guys. Well, I felt kind of responsible because it was my tree technically. They are. <laughs> Team said girls are taking over the world. <laughs> yeah, that needed a good soaking. And, and, and it didn't need to have all that stuff on top of it. I'm kind of proud of these women out here putting this fire out on the plastic truck ring. So today, today, what is today? The 18th? I don't know. 19th? I lost track. Of Anyways, the, the fire sparked at the set on the seventh out here, and right over there, there's a big stump right there. Oh, it's still smoking a little bit. Is it? Yeah. Not like before, though. No, but uh, we had a couple gals from Malala, Oregon Department of Forestry that came Jamie out here. Jamie and Whitney. Jamie and Whitney, and uh, yeah, they were cool. They worked with Rick. Rick dug this whole area out and they came back in here and hosed it out and dug it out. Oh, they bucked up some logs too, honey. Yeah, it's but so cool. But then I speeded it up for them. Yeah, here, we'll show them the piles I made when we leave. All right, here, you want to show them? Piles? Yeah. And Jet's home. He's over there with one of his new friends. He was, and we want to thank our neighbors, uh, Pat and Retha and Kenny, for taking care of Jet. He's got a new fly mask on. Anyway, uh, so this used to be his fencing. This whole, everywhere where there's dirt right now, used to have those bushes. And it went from the back of his pasture up to the road. And gained about a good half acre. Yeah, we got about another half acre of land that we were, really didn't need to use. I kind of liked it better when it was bushes, but anyway this is where the fire started and today well actually i had this all cleared out before right honey yep. and then um some people came in and i understand they got to do what they got to do you know they, they they limbed and cut down trees to protect the power lines the new power lines but they just left all this dry stuff here and uh it was actually sitting on top of that 
burning stump that's been smoldering for a week. I think they did get it out, honey. Uh, anyway. Yeah, there's a little bit of smoke there you can see. A little bit, but that's been smoking for a while. We can keep an eye on it now. At least it's not got a bunch of kindling on top of it. I noticed you gained yourself a telephone pole over there. That was our old telephone pole. Yeah, I'll use it. Also gained, I also gained about a thousand feet of aluminum cable. That'd be a pretty good uh, flag pole. Or oh, our old, yeah, our old power nice pole. And straight. Yeah, it won't be as tall as that one, but yeah, that'd be cool. I agree. Nice and sturdy and straight. You good. Put all your, all ten of your new flags on. It. Yeah, because that one's not straight. That one's got a pyrone. Uh. <laughs> We will use the old power pole for our new flag pole. And you know what I'll do, Jamie? I'll cut that old flag pole off where it's straight and mount the lights on it and flash oh, them up at the new flags. That's a good idea. We're going to have an American flag, an Oregon flag. Yeah. We're going to have lots of flags. Yeah. Anyway, building's still standing, thank God. Boy, the property from this perspective looks totally different. It wow. does, doesn't it? We never see it from this angle and look falls coming yeah yep Jet! hey pony jack got his pasture back <laughs> all right folks we're out we're gonna go watch some friends of ours in a band play some music anybody got some ideas on how to get teasel drag Teasel oh yeah, Jet's tail's toast. <laughs> He's like got a massive teasel bird. I'm gonna get to cut it off and mow it off. Free firewood, you buck. <laughs> you buck, you all. <laughs> no, we did that. I know. It's tired. I know. Well, I'm it'll, tired. good thing it'll weather. We can come out here yeah. when we have a party. And... All right, folks. Kaleem! Anyway, there's this new fence. Kaleem! It's electrified. We got a little box over there supplying some voltage to that inch and a half tape in case he gets any ideas yeah all right heading back jumping on thumper we're gonna go see our good friends full circle band little buffalo and trisha and and who else they reina and oh gosh i forget their new drummer's name we only met the drummer once we'll let you know next time <laughs> peace out